Good morning. Did you guys have a good Labor Day? Yes. Okay, what I don't like is everybody thinks summer's over. Summer is not over. We have 19 more days of summer, so make it count. Write that down. Oh, by the way, in 19 days, it's somebody's birthday. First day of fall actually falls on my birthday. But you know what? Usually it's like the 20th or 21st this year. It's the 23rd. So September 23rd is somebody's birthday. I think it's a national holiday. Write it on your calendar. All right. We are going into the third quarter. We're in this third quarter right now. How has your guys' this years went? What goals have you met? What ones have maybe not met? What have you done well in your business? And what would you like to do more? I know those are a lot of questions, right? Who here keeps track of their quarterly goals? All right, I need more hands up because if we just do an annual goals, we're not marking where we need to be going. So we need to have quarterly goals. And we are finishing the third quarter right now. And you guys are gonna not like what I'm gonna talk about. The fourth quarter. <laughs> this is the time to start planning for that fourth quarter. Now, we're going to have the holidays come up. We're going to have Christmas. We're going to have snow. We're going to have how many obstacles is going to happen in the fourth quarter? Whose business just booms fourth quarter? That's awesome. <laughs> One person. Do you know what fourth quarter is about? Do you know what fourth quarter is about? It's about building relationships. It's about going to those holiday parties. It's about door knocking. It's about making some phone calls and connections, sending out those cards. If you have send out cards or just handwritten cards. Okay, or you have fix and go. Fix and go. But my point is, it's that time to do that, right? But more importantly, this is your planning time. Start planning for fourth quarter. Have a plan. Don't just let fourth quarter make you not do what you need to do as a business owner or an entrepreneur. Start planning now. Then you know how you can plan fourth quarter? See what happened first quarter. And if you didn't track it, all right, you didn't track it. But still, you can get an idea of what went well, what didn't go so well. Second quarter, do the same. And of course, we're finishing up third quarter so that we can figure out what were those goals that you made in January that now you want to accomplish now. But more importantly, guys, 2024 is around the corner. Can you believe it? It's around the corner. So as we're planning fourth quarter goals, we're actually setting ourselves up for 2024. And if you were not keeping track of quarterly goals, that's okay. But next year, I expect you to keep track of those quarterly goals. So if you have accountability, you have a coach, you have people that keep you accountable in that, you will become so much more successful over time. I would love to have a cup of coffee with you if you haven't. I'd love to learn more about your business, and I'd like to learn more about you. And I am all about balancing that life and business. And I want you guys to go out and make sure you enjoy these last 19 days of summer. Don't let them tell you that it's Let's not hurry up fall. But anyway, I that's all I have to say. But you all have a great rest of the day. And thank you.